Hey guys, this video is going to go in a little bit more detail what I was talking about in my last video. I left an annotation on one of my, my last video on checking for spark using inline checkers and everything. And I said, remember on small engines, that spark plug fires every time the piston comes up. Not every other time like a vehicle engine does. And someone left a comment on there saying, I thought the plug only fired on the compression stroke, on the top dead center on the compression stroke. And on the power stroke and they're right that's the only time the spark is actually needed on this but every time the engine turns over it sparks from top dead center i want to show you the reason behind that and i'm briefly going to explain the four strokes of a four cycle engine and i got another video that goes in more detail on how four cycle engines work you can watch it for more detail but right now the piston's on top dead center it's all the way up even with the deck so this is an older flathead engine, so it's easier to show this on this, but if you have a vehicle engine, your valves are going to be up over top of this, upside down to this, and right over top of the piston. But this is easier to show you because uh, you can watch the valves actually move in this. But right now it's on top dead center on the intake stroke. So right now the piston's coming down, creating a vacuum. And the intake valve's opening. This is allowing a, a mixture of uh, air and fuel into the cylinder. The piston continues down. Intake valve closes, piston's coming up on compression stroke, top dead center, the spark plug will fire right now, causing an explosion in the cylinder, forcing the piston back down. Now the exhaust valve is opening, piston's coming up, pushing all the burnt gases out of the cylinder, and the cycle just goes on and on while it's running. But I'm just showing you that so you can understand more of what's going on with the ignition system on one of these small engines. Now, if you follow your spark plug back this is your spark plug wire and it goes down to your coil which is actually and I'm bad about it myself falsely calling this a coil on a small engine I mean yes there's a coil wire in there to make it work but it's actually a magneto and on newer engines it's called a magnetron because it's all electronic ignition this engine here still has points and condenser up underneath the flywheel but if you look on the flywheel here you'll see a set of really strong magnets right here on the flywheel and these small engines don't get power from the battery to fire the uh, spark plug like a vehicle engine does. It generates its own power from the magnets. Every time these magnets fly past the two posts on this coil, it generates a charge inside there with the voltage high enough to fire the spark plug. That's how this works. And that's why it fires on every stroke of the engine. Because there's no, there's no other switches or anything. Now, if this flywheel was running off the uh, camshaft at half the speed, then yeah, it would be firing on every one revolution. But it runs off the crankshaft, so it's on direct timing with the piston and valves. Here I'm trying to get an angle of showing the uh, piston and the magnets on the flywheel. So right here's your magnets. Right now the piston's coming up, so it's going to fire. It actually fires a few degrees before top dead center because it's got a spark advance on it. I'm not sure the exact specs on this, but uh, as you see, right here's the actual power stroke. Piston be, it'd be firing right here, and this would be your power stroke. Then on the exhaust stroke, your piston's coming back up, and it's going to fire again right here. But as you can see, all the burnt gases are escaped, so there's actually, theoretically, nothing in the cylinder right now. So your spark is being 100% wasted, which, I mean, it don't matter, but it, it just is a point, that, you know, every other firing of the spark plug is useless on a small engine but it does fire with every revolution of the crankshaft well guys thanks for watching i just want to do a quick explanation on that in a little bit more detail than i did in the last video and uh, if you got any questions or comments feel free to leave a comment below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so thanks for watching